Hey YouTube, Bird Billy here. Today I want to talk about the Mr. Heater Portable Buddies. There's two different types of Portable Buddies. There's the Portable Buddy and there's the Portable Tough Buddy. I wanted to know what the difference was. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you guys about a refrigerator. Because New Air sent me out a 126 can beverage fridge and I really like it and I just want to show it to you real quick and then we'll get back to the video. Alright, so this is the New Air AB1200X. It's a 126 can beverage refrigerator cooler. It's got interchangeable shelves so you can adjust the shelves and make any configuration you want. You can set it up for all cans or like I've done here where you can put bottles in here as well. It comes with six shelves. I'm only running three in here. No more changing bulbs. has an LED light which I've got on inside and it just turned on and off with a little switch inside. There's no little man in the door that turns on and off for you anymore you got to manually do it. The reason there's no little man is because there's a glass door and you, you would see him. And because it's a beverage fridge, it comes with a lock on the bottom of it, which is a nice feature. They give you two keys. That way you can lock your refreshments up for those that should not be partaking. Overall, it's a fridge. Not a whole lot to say. I just wanted to get this out there uh, that I really like it and I'm really glad they sent it to me and I am utilizing it to the best of my ability. Alright, so back to business. little curiosity thing in my head was like, what's the difference between these two? Now, first off, I can tell you right off the bat, this one, the red one, is sold at Home Depot. The yellow one is sold at Lowe's. Cosmetically, this one has like a gray-black plastic to it. This one has a black black plastic to it. This one, the Tough Buddy, the grill is a little bit heavier duty and anchored a little bit more firm. Not a whole lot of movement there. Actually not a whole lot of movement here, but trust me, this metal here on this grill is thinner than this one. This one looks a little bit more tough. And uh, that's it. <laughs> because they both put out 4,000 BTUs on their low setting, and 9,000 BTUs on their high setting. They both heat up to 225 square feet of space. I have run them side by side now uh, for a while and I can't tell any difference. Um, they both seem to suck about the same amount of juice and they're both about the same amount of size. They both have the same amount of screw holes in the back of them. So this is going to come down to a pricing thing for you if you're looking at heaters. These, I think, tend to run a little bit more. Unless you're planning on chucking your little buddy down a hill, I don't really think you care about the grill. It's, this one is, is, is uh, he's tough too, you know? This is like Dolph Lundgren, and this is like, like John Rambo. I think I got my movies mixed up there, but you get the point. <laughs> this, is, this is Rock, not Rambo. Rambo was tough too, though, you know? He was, he, he, he. He could handle his business. So anywho, it's, it's a price thing, in my opinion. In the opinion of this reviewer, this is a, a, a price and a marketing thing where they picked up this name, this, this label, this look, so that that's proprietary to their store, and they've got this look, this label for their store. But I think this one was about $75, and I want to say this one was closer to 80 and the 80. So again, look for your pricing. If you see this one and it's $75 and that's in your price range, what you want to do, feel free to go buy it and don't have a second thought about whether you should have bought the Tough Buddy. Unless you're into thicker grills, uh, which I highly doubt you are, you know, roll a little red over here if it's cheaper. If this one's cheaper, get this one and don't have a second thought about it. I, I don't want to not call attention to the fact that they both have all the same safety features on them. They have the tip over shut off, they have the low oxygen uh, shut off or the low oxygen sensor on them. If you're running one of these, buy a CO detector. They are not that expensive. And splurge, get the one that has the numbers on it that you can see if something's going on. If you don't feel like spending the extra five dollars, then, then get the other one that's just a you know, a, a plain cover with no numbers. Anything is better than nothing. I operate these in my garage. I have two of them operate, uh, two CO detectors in my garage running at all times when I am heating my garage with these propane heaters. I don't, I don't mess around. Uh, it's just not worth it. Okay, and uh, 
as far as these heaters go, I've got a video coming up here shortly where I'm going to show them both running simultaneously off of one tank because that is how I've been running them. Um, instead of putting one into a big buddy, I got multiple heaters and that way I can kind of direct heat wherever I want it in the garage as I'm working and it's been working out well for me and we'll, we'll kind of cover that in some other videos. But I just kind of wanted to call attention to the difference between the portable Mr. Buddy, Mr. Heater, Portable Buddy, and the Mr. Heater Portable Tough Buddy. And it really comes down to grills. And if I'm wrong, and you happen to work for Mr. Heater, and I totally missed the boat, and there's something else that's like amazing about this, then uh, please let me know as I'm sure you will. As always, thank you for watching.